Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Get your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. So the big question, was this Rafa's last Roland Garros appearance? We thought it might be, but Nadal wouldn't say either way. After his first round straight sets loss to Alexander Zverev, Rafa told the crowd he still isn't sure. But just in case fans celebrated Rafa on Monday, there was hardly a dry eye in the place as Rafa, with his wife and baby boy present, told the crowd that he appreciates all they've done for him over the years. He said he never dreamed that he would be there at almost 38 years old with all the success he's had winning so many titles. The match was a star-studded affair. You had Iga Sviantek, Novak Djokovic in attendance, as well as Carlos Alcaraz and many other stars in the stadium. And the grounds were packed with fans and charged with electricity as everybody watched that match. Gail Monfils said, he is our legend. He is everybody's legend. I know that I love him whatever happens. Such a sweet guy. Well said, Lamont. Tennis fans around the world, I'm sure, agree. Nadal will turn 38 on June 2nd, but he's hopeful that he can continue his career, especially now that he's finally started to feel better and find his form. Now, nobody could deny that Nadal looked better than he has all spring. Had he not been dealt such a difficult draw, he may have had a deep run at Roland Garros. Before the tournament, he said he was moving side to side without limitation for the first time in a very long time. And after his loss to Zverev, Nadal said his improvements are one of the reasons he wants to keep trying. He says it's difficult to say what will happen. Maybe he won't make it back to Roland Garros. He just doesn't know at this point. He says he loves playing in Paris and traveling with the family, and his body is feeling a little better than it did a couple of months ago. For now, he wants to be back on the clay in late July to represent Spain in the 2024 Paris Olympics. And who knows? Nadal playing a best of three on the court he's dominated for years after another month of practice under his belt? Wouldn't count him out. After the Olympics, Nadal says he'll reassess. He needs to see how he feels in terms of personal motivation, how his body feels, and then in terms of his level of tennis. So stay tuned. On Monday, though, fans had a chance to celebrate the King of Clay in a beautiful way. Nadal's record stands tall, just like the statue that rules the square just south of Court Philippe Chatrier. 112 wins and four losses, 14 titles, double the output of any other player, male or female, in Paris. So for now, we won't say goodbye to Rafa, but rather, good luck. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.